Why, hello there YouTube and welcome to a revolting review. I am Random Ross and today I am reviewing Evil Dead. <laughs> So, yes, with Evil Dead Rise around the corner and stuff, I thought, just like Scream 6, it'd be time for a revisit of the whole franchise. So that's what I'm going to do, and I thought, let's go where it all began for Sam Raimi and Bruce Campbell as they make their big break in the horror film industry with this cult classic, which, of course, was banned for its gory nature, and its horrific scenes but has since gone on to be a classic and uh, to be honest I'm desensitized to all that horror stuff now that we see in this film so yeah uh, let's just get right into it so this follows a group of friends that go to this cabin in the woods you know looking for a good time until they go in the basement and make this discovery of a book and a tape recorder from this scientist who recorded what he was reading from the book unaware that they've summoned some evil forces which possess them one by one and of course Ash Williams played by Bruce Campbell starts to fight his way through including you know these demon creatures called deadites that possess his friends and his girlfriend and you know after a night of brutal killings he survives only to carry on becoming the hero of the series so what did I like about this one well, I liked that this was a B-movie where they didn't really have much hope for it becoming a success. This was like, as I said, Sam, and, Sam Raimi and Bruce Campbell's first feature film. They did a short film called, uh, I can't remember what it's called now, the name's just slipped my mind. But it was the inspiration for this film that uh, gave them this. And you know, this was their big break and they did it however they wanted to do it they didn't care if it was gory or stuff they just did it and you know i gotta say job well done to them guys you know for not just to bruce campbell and sam raimi but the makeup effects team that did great makeup effects for it with the dead eyes and the zombies and a lot of the effects because it was a cheap budget film a lot of the effects in it were practical, given that it was 1981 as well, so this film is over 40 years old. And to still have the franchise going to this day is, well, quite the achievement to say it's not had many films, but there you go. Um, so, yeah, little did we know that this would be the start of a trilogy where we would get two sequels, a remake, a sequel TV show, and then another one that is yet to be released. Anyhow... I love the practical effects that they used in this that were gory and gruesome and some of the stop motion as well we got in this one. They also had some good sound effects which were cheaply done as well which I actually do like as well. I like that the effects were done practically and even the sound effects when they like when they were jabbing into like the ankle in it and it was making that like the I believe they use like apples or something to make that noise. And you know how this was also a splatter fest because there was a lot of splattering and a lot of guts here and there and yeah i mean this film was serious it was a straight up horror film but from the sequels onwards it then evolved into a slapstick comedy horror trilogy which i also loved as well and um i just i, I enjoyed watching this one to this very day even though I've seen it multiple times, I still think it's a fun film to watch. And yeah, I mean, although Ash doesn't really come into his own with the signature chainsaw hand and boomstick and his catcher is groovy by the sequel, it it's great how it how it sets things up for a franchise which I don't think they were expecting to do well at all. And also with the film being banned for its gory nature and horror. You know, this made the film even more popular and more people wanted to watch it. I believe it was part of the video nasties craze during the 80s. But, um, yes, Evil Dead. I just enjoy watching it. It's a fun film. Yeah, it's not perfect in any way. Yeah, there is that horrific assault scene with the forest mare that young girls get in. Well, I won't get into detail here because I don't know if YouTube will allow it. But still, it's... 
I I don't know how to. It, it's it's a scene that stays with you, I would say. And you know, we get some creepy chants in this, like the "We're gonna get you, not another peep." You know, and she's possessed by the Deadites. The Deadites have gone on to be, you know, the whole franchise antagonist in this. So, is there anything I didn't like? Well, with this being a film not made to be perfect or good in any way, it was a, still an entertaining one which I enjoyed. And, like I said, would be the start of a great horror franchise. So, ratings. What will I rate this one? You know what the hell of it? I have a ball watching it. I'm giving it, you know, because a lot of work and effort went into this film and it was a job well done from the people behind it. I'll give it five stabs. Yeah, five stabs out of five. Because I still do enjoy watching it. So there you go. There is my review on The Evil Dead. So have you seen this one? Let me know all that down below in the comments. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and to share with your friends. And feel free to subscribe to the official Random Horror YouTube channel if you haven't already. And to hit that notification bell. I've been Random Ross and this has been Revolting Reviews. So until next time, don't have nightmares.